And how do you know you believe in Jesus? Um, well, I, I, I believe I have a personal relationship with him. What's your personal relationship with him? Um, Y'all hang well, out and get I mean, drunk? <laughs> <laughs> Mark, welcome to the show. Get it off your chest. Hey, Jesse, how are you doing? All this well, Mark. Yeah, well, I want to start by telling you, man, you have the best show on this side of heaven, and I mean that. I never miss it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, um, just a quick question um, I, I, uh, about the Bible. I was just curious. I know, you know, you, you talk to a lot of pastors and ask them if they were called by God or went to school for it. Um, do, do you do you believe, I mean, is the Bible something that you believe in literally, or what are your thoughts on the Bible? The Bible is a very interesting and good book to read, but I don't believe in the Bible. Okay. So... You don't recommend that people need to read it necessarily. No, I do recommend people read it, but read not to remember. Just use it like a road map and, and, and let okay. the road map lead you to where you should be going. And but don't 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 get all into it and believe in it and all that. If you do that, you'll just become an intellect intellectual of the Bible and your heart is wicked. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very you believe good. in the Bible? Uh, uh, not literally. No, no. And I just was real interested in your, in your opinion. Um, I, I, I own one, but I don't, uh, I, I don't read it on a, on a regular basis, but, uh, you know, I'm a Christian. I just wanted to get your feelings on the Bible itself. No, it's a good book to read. I highly recommend people read it, but don't read it and and get into believing in it. That's where you're going to be stuck, and you will never have perfect peace. Okay. Do you believe in the Bible? Do I believe in the Bible? Um, Do you believe in the Bible? Do, do you mean as a literal document from God or just in what it says? Do you believe in the Bible? Uh, mm, I would say uh, no. You don't. You do not believe in the Bible. I believe in Jesus. I don't know that I believe in the Bible because that I, means that I have to believe in everything it says. And so do you believe in the Bible? I would say no. And 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 why not? Um well I I, I don't know that I believe that it's a it's a, a a true story from God. I mean there's parts of it that I don't that I think were made up by man or misinterpreted or what have you. Oh, okay. And do you believe in, you said you believe in Jesus? Yes. And how do you know you believe in Jesus? Um, well, I, I, I believe I have a personal relationship with him. What's your personal relationship with him? Um, Y'all hang well, out and get I mean, drunk? <laughs> <laughs> well... I mean, obviously there's faith involved, right? I mean, because I don't see him or have a conversation with him, and we haven't gotten drunk together. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, so, but 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 I, I I have a belief I have a belief in Jesus, um, you know, um, and it makes the most sense to me out of the other religions that are out there. And um, how do you yeah. have a personal relationship with? You say you have a personal relationship with him. What does that mean? Well, how do you I, how how did you do that? What does that mean? What does that look like? Yeah, I mean that's a great question. I mean, obviously it's a lot of one way relationship because he doesn't talk back to me very much. <laughs> well, he see, <laughs> maybe he doesn't have a personal relationship with you. Well, that's true. That's true. He but, doesn't have know, a Jeff, personal yeah, relationship with you. Yeah. No. Well, that's true. He may not. No, that was a question. Um, does he have? You have a personal relationship with Jesus. But does Jesus have a personal relationship with you? Um, I would, 
I, I guess I would have to answer that honestly with a no, because I, 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 you know, I, I guess the answer is no. So why do you have a perfect relationship with somebody and they ain't got no perfect relationship with you? How do I get a personal relationship with them? But how did you, but how, you mean like how does he, you get him to give you a personal relationship? Yes. But how did you get one with him and he didn't give back? Well, I, so basically I would communicate and pray with him and I, I would feel like he was answering some of my prayers, but obviously there was no two-way communication. Why you believe Jesus was answering your prayers? Um, well, you know, Jesse, I, 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 you know, when you, when I look at some of the other religions that I have researched, like the Muslim religion, and by the way, I was just in Dearborn, Michigan, a couple weeks ago, um, and that's a little bit of a scary place to be in right now. I bet. Yeah, we we drove through through there as fast as we could. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so, but, how um, do how do you have a relationship with Jesus, but He won't reciprocate? Ooh, reciprocate! Big word. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, you, Jesse, you got me thinking. I have to tell you, you know, um, I wasn't brought up in a religious family. By the way, my parents were Christian, but they didn't practice. So, my faith is really all on me. And, um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I... I so why'd you say that then? Well, I guess I, guess I spoke too quickly without really thinking about it. And so what um, gave maybe, you the... I, have a per- where maybe, did you... maybe a better... Go ahead, sorry. No, finish your point. I was just going to say, maybe, maybe um, it would have been better worded if I said that I... Uh, that, that I had belief or faith in Jesus, but not a personal relationship. Where did you get the idea and words to say, I have a personal relationship with Jesus? Where did that come from? Um, well, I, I guess it's because I communicate with him on my end. Where did so, you get the, the words to say, I have a personal relationship with Jesus? Where did that, who, who taught you that? Um, that's a good question. I guess, obviously, I'm repeating something I've heard, but I'm not quite sure where I heard it. Did you hear that church? Maybe, may, may, maybe in church. That Did you? That like it'd be the most... Yes. And you thought you understood what it meant? Um, yes. And wh- why did you think that? Um... Probably because I didn't take enough time to really think about what I was saying. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, now that I'm saying it out loud to you, I realize that I don't really know what that means. And then you did you say that Jesus answered some of your prayers? Um, in the past, yes. I felt like when I prayed to Jesus, not all, not all, not all, not all, but some, uh, have 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 seemed to be answered pretty quickly, not by communication with him, but by occurrences that happened, you know, in the world. And where did you get the idea that Jesus answered prayers? Um, I church. <laughs> hmm. And what yeah. what ha- up until right now, what has prevented you from thinking for yourself to see? If what you've been taught is true, does it really work, or it's just ideas that you have? What have prevented you from thinking about those things? Uh, nothing. I guess just myself. And, and, and why don't you think for yourself? Um, you know, Jesse, I generally do, and now I'm starting to realize maybe I have it in this area. Um, have you ever questioned, oh, I got this personal relationship with Jesus. He ain't got no personal relationship with me. What y'all? And, uh, and Jesus answered some of my prayer, but yet I still don't have perfect peace. Have you ever questioned that? I've questioned why I don't have perfect peace before, yes. Um, um, have I questioned why, why he doesn't answer all of my prayers? Um, 
No, I, I, I haven't really questioned that. Has he ever I, answered any of your prayers? I, I mean, like I said, I thought he did because of coincidence. Maybe they were coincidences, but not all of them. So, um, you know, maybe not. And when he didn't answer all of them, did you go like, what's up with you, Jesus? Um, well, I mean, I, pro I think what I did, Jesse, is I took, again— what I was taught that, yeah. you know, sometimes he doesn't answer your prayers because, uh, you know, he is answering them by not answering them. Type of <laughs> you know, that goes. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you know, the kind of stuff they, they throw at you. Yeah, but you, I will encourage you, Mark, you got to start looking within yourself and seeking from within. This is why God said, let no man teach you because you've been taught and, and all you have is intellect and it's not working. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm definitely seeing that during this phone call. Have you gone and forgiven your mama? I have not. And why not? Hold on, Mark. Are you able to hold? Sure. Hold on. And Mark, I uh, believe in the Bible and a friend of Jesus. But Jesus ain't no friend back. <laughs> 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 Mark. <laughs> yes. Thank you for holding, man. Oh, sure. Mark, so I ask, ask before I went to break, had you forgiven your mother? Uh, yeah, and I, I, I have not, Jesse. Stay close to your phone and speak up a little bit. And why, and you, so you're friends with Jesus. You, you believe in the Bible. Well, you don't quite believe in the Bible, you said but you have not forgiven your mother. How is that possible? I've been too scared to do it, to be honest. But you are not scared to be free with Jesus, whom you never seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you've never met my mom, Jesse. She's scarier than Jesus. No, I've met your mama. Your mama is just like every mama on this side of heaven. Yeah. And yeah, so what, right. are you, what are you afraid of? How old are you, Mark? I am 47. So what are you afraid of if you went to your mother and said, Mother, I'm sorry for resenting you. I realize now you can help yourself. What would happen? Uh, well, nothing would happen. I just think that she would, uh, she would give me a dirty look as I'm saying it and uh, ask me what I'm talking about. And you can't have it a dirty look. Um, uh, well, up till now, I obviously haven't been able to handle because I haven't done it. But um, I, I know it's something that I need to do. How do you expect to enter into perfect peace, into the kingdom of heaven, if you don't forgive, so you can overcome the nature of the devil? Well, I. I don't think that I can, Jesse, until I do it. And you've heard me say do it before? Oh, I listen to you all the time, yes. And that's and so are you doing the silent prayer? Yes. But yet you won't go and forgive. How are you going to get into the kingdom, man? I know. I need to get the nerve up to do it. And trust me, I've been thinking about it for a long time, and then I keep backing down every time that I get a chance. Isn't that something? Think about this. You're forty something years old. I remember when I forgave my mother. I was thirty eight. I'm like, I'm a grown man. What am I doing? Scared of my mama? But was she, well, how did she, Jesse? Do you mind me asking how she responded? Uh, mom? she, my mother, which most mothers don't do, she thought she apologized. She said, "You know what? I'm sorry. I didn't realize I had done it to you." And then she started to cry, and she told me about what her mother had doing, done to her, who's my grandmother. And exactly what happened to her, she did it to me, and she didn't realize it. So she apologized. Most mothers won't do that. No, they won't. But I will tell you, Jesse, I never thought about it until I started listening to you, and you're 100% right. That resentment toward the mother, Yeah, it, 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 uh, it, it's 100% true. And I, it, when you first said it, I had to back up and say, wait a minute. And then I really thought about it, and it's true. I resent my mom, and I think everybody does. Every human being, male and female, hate their mothers. Yeah. 
And that's why they must be born again of the Father. And the sin is the hatred of the heart. And everyone has it until they forgive. Yeah. And my mom did try to turn, you know, my parents are married, but she did try to turn me and always blame it on him. And he's doing this wrong yeah. and he's doing that wrong. And she, she did my whole childhood. I, I look back now and I see it very clearly. She did it the whole time. And why, when you ask, ask us, your father, why did he let that happen? Why did he allow your mother to turn you away from him? What did he say? I didn't ask him yet. Why not? Um, I'm not scared to ask him that. I just haven't asked him that question yet. When, um, when will you start but, working on you? You want to know God, it sounds like. When will you start working on yourself from within so you can return home to the Father? Well, it's time to do it now, and I think that's why I finally reached out to you. You know, I, I've been listening to you for years, and I finally made the phone call. Right on. Yeah. Well, so I, it, 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 it's time to do it. I, I've learned so much from you, Jesse. I... I, I Really, I can't thank you enough. You have so much wisdom. And that same wisdom is inside of you as well. That's why you can see where I'm coming from. It's the Father, His wisdom is allowing you to see that. So He's trying to yeah. draw you back unto Him. Yeah, well, I, I see it clear. You're right, because what you're saying rings true, so obviously it has to be inside of me. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so you doing the silent prayer every morning, every night? I do now, yes. You're doing it every morning, every night? For the past, I'd say, three weeks, yes. Well, stay with it no matter what happens. And then during the day, if you catch yourself caught up in your thoughts, which are not your own, thinking about the past or the future, just come back to the prayer. To be aware of your surrounding your body. You'll be back with the Father. Okay. Let me know how it goes, man. I'll give you a call when I do it, Jesse. Okay. Next Friday. I'll call you next Friday if I can get through. All right. And you're going to be shaking in your booth, but it'll be the last time you have to shake. I'm going to do it. And have no expectation from her. You're going there to work on you. And if she want to stay in her hell, let her stay in her hell. If she, yeah. Okay. Don't don't expect her to apologize or not to apologize. If she give you a bad look, just that's her look. It has nothing to do with you. You just forgive her, and God will forgive you. Okay. All right. I'm gonna do it. All right, buddy. Merry Christmas. Hey, you. Merry Christmas to you, Jesse. And seriously, thanks so much for your what you do, man. Really appreciate you. You're welcome. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. Okay. Take care. Bye bye. Bye now.